Hi, it's Alex here. I figured, seeing how Connor always makes fun of me for being overly nostalgic and constantly bringing up old games that he doesn't consider relevant anymore, which is really his fault for having no childhood, but I decided I may as well embrace that. I may as well just go back and play all these old games. I figured I could do some videos on it. And the first game I decided to play is Hitman Blood Money because I absolutely hated the newest Hitman. There is another one coming, and hopefully it's like this. This is by far the best Hitman, and in my opinion, I, I can never decide, but this and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory are my two best stealth games ever made. They're very different types of stealth. Uh, like This one's hiding in plain sight through like disguises, and much more brutal, as in, you know, you shove a needle in a guy's throat and throw him in a dumpster. Whereas Splinter Cell is much more hiding on, like upside down, shimmying past some guy. Apart from in Chaos Theory, there is that one janitor whose neck you snap. Which is a bit mean on Sam Fisher's behalf, but apart from that, yeah, he's not usually as bad as 47. So hopefully my save data is still here. Yes, the save data is under dad. Because when you have a childhood and your dad likes gaming, he controls the save data name. Okay, I'm not gonna go on pro, we have beat this game on every difficulty. Yep. And I will go on to pro just to, yes we have, see. Blood money is that good. Like, the game is so replayable, you can go through every mission over and over again and there are heaps of easter eggs in certain levels too but I don't know which mission I should really play um A New Life's really good Murder of Crows, Death on Mississippi hmm tell you what I will do curtains down and if that goes poorly I will try um A New Life so yeah, premise. For, if you've never played a Hitman game, the premise is really simple. You've this one does attempt to have a bit more of a story, but you are a Hitman. Who would have guessed? And you're supposed to take down targets. And each mission is like a mini sandbox, where you have to take down a certain target, and you get a rating depending on how well you did. So my objectives in this one is I have to kill these two targets. So first guy's name, I'm not going to even try and pronounce his second. And at the beginning you can select like your kit of weapons. So I definitely want my silver ballers. Oh and the weapon customization, this is great too. I mean I can have, these are weapons you can grab off of uh, normal enemies. So these ones aren't customizable, but you can still somehow shove them in your suit jacket. But these lot are your agency weapons. And these ones you can customize so much. I will. I'll put the sniper in my kit as well, just to show what the customization is like. So, here, you have scopes, ammo types, silencers, you can come with extra ammo, laser sights, rail mounts, magnum ammo, dual action, long slide, red dot, large clip, you know. you got different types of silencers, and they all have positives and negatives for the most part. And the sniper is quite cool. So again, ammo type, double capacity. Jamo, your different scopes, scopes, not scopes, jeez. Uh, you can make it a lightweight sniper, so you can end up um, having a briefcase. Originally, if you go through a metal detector with it, the metal detector will go nuts, and obviously everyone will know. But you can get uh, suitcases that can't go off. You can get like different barrels, so it can be a compact sniper to actually fit it in the briefcase in the first place, and then you assemble it when you actually want to start sniping. You can send it to bolt action and yeah you get the idea it's it's really good also miscellaneous miscellaneous is your random shit you can bring with you but i will start the mission now before i end up doing 20 minutes on just the menus saying how good the game is like the second best hitman is silent assassin hitman's a weird series it, it goes up and down quite a bit um silent assassin is great though too 
Okay, so yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, 47's head's a bit jagged, but okay, I want to sneak. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad anymore. And um, there is the HD collection. I was considering playing that one instead, but I don't have all the save data on the HD collection. So while it would have looked nicer, I wanted to be able to select any mission I wanted and have everything. Right. I have not played Hitman in so long, apart from the shitty new one where the mechanicas cover your face. And you can do anything. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the door where you can actually... I completed this level in 30 seconds once because I went here, shot that guy in the head who's one of the targets, and that guy over there in the head, and then left. And I got Silent Assassin because everyone was just too busy panicking. And that's why Hitman's so great. Like, you could... you can just... Ah, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, you can just go into the level and do it as you please. I don't know how to open my inventory. Hence why I haven't done anything. That's your map. Square. Yeah, and you got the wheel. So, there's my special carry case for my sniper rifle. Got some needles to jab into people. And yeah, there are um, the ridiculous ballers. Pretty, they have upgraded to a ridiculous extent. So, I don't know which one's my actual target. I'm pretty sure it's the guy in there. Oh, aiming does not feel that good. There's one target. There's two. Pretty sure I was seen. Can I leave? I wanna leave. Ah, okay, they, they know it's me. So I didn't actually do it right. But there you go. <laughs> Probably not the best demonstration of anyone who hasn't seen Hitman before, because that just made the game look rubbish. But I can re-go into that level and actually scope it out better. And at the end of each level, you get a cool newspaper which summarizes how well you did in each level. And this one, what? Well, I'm going to get three kills because I accidentally shot one of his guards. 13 shots because I just held down the trigger, which is rubbish, but yeah. Uh, I got specialist rating. Zero notoriety because I guess I was in and out that fast, but a minute 51. And now it should bring up the newspaper article. I hope, or have I skipped it somehow? Ah, here we go. So, uh, alright. Yeah, like every mission has one of these, specifically to how well you did. So, specialist wanted by police, and if you read through it, the singer was believed to be the victims in a violent episode, caused one additional death, blah 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 blah. No gunshots were heard by witnesses indicating that a silenced weapon was used and that tells you what caliber like rounds they found and now it says customized silver ballers which is a bit too specific considering I only shot like 45s but yeah it goes into full details after every mission. There are also these side stories probably not this one I don't I don't think this one's relevant to the story but other ones are relevant to future, like, missions and stuff. So, Vice President blah blah blah's death. And later there is a mission where you go to the White House and try and assassinate... I thought it was the Vice President, but maybe it's the new Vice President. Brazilian Ambassador shot... There, there, there are stuff throughout these linking to future levels and it's just cool. Just, I'll leave it at that, it's cool. So, I don't want to continue the next level. I, I guess I'll go back into that one and not be like an asshole. I will scope it out and try, like actually give an idea. But yeah, there are, the levels do vary quite a bit. There's levels that take place in Mississippi at a wedding and you can poison the cake, drop a chandelier. You can put a bomb in the cake if you really want. Uh, there's a level New Orleans during Mardi Gras. I'll just have the ballers this time. That's all you really need. But um, yeah, there's, there's levels in um, 
drug rehab you can go through rehab clinics the a new life one the other one i was considering showing involves going into a net suburban neighborhood where a guy is under witness protection so you gotta go take him out while the fbi are there like so you can drop stuff with this coat guy and there's you can even talk to certain ones i don't know if this is a guy you can talk to yep chat with the receptionist here is your jacket sir. yeah and now he's giving me a jacket so this is pre-set up by um don't the agency the jacket, sir. No, just and what he's giving me is a real World War One pistol, which the play that is happening, or they're rehearsing for, is a World War One play, and they have a replica of that pistol. And you can go all the way downstairs and replace it with the real pistol, and then you don't even have to do the job. You have to worry about the other guy, but one of the targets will be taken down just as part of the rehearsal, which is quite cool. I don't really remember the layout too well. They're all the top booths so I guess I'm allowed up here but yeah the system for being detected in this is way better it's just this you see I've got my health down bottom left and then the exclamation mark it just flashes and like levels and it's got a different color to indicate like level of suspicion and I don't know why they kind of went away from that for absolution into this hide your face vision cone uh, and you can track their movements and i don't know i really really don't like hitman absolution like really really don't like it i didn't actually beat it i i started the game on professional first go because i was so against the whole well, i can't remember what it was called but the the ability system in it so against it so i couldn't really use it on professional and it made some parts stupidly difficult and it wasn't wasn't fun because it forced that system upon you so certain points when you couldn't really use it I don't know if I'm I am allowed in here yes I don't know if I'm allowed that close see if he flips his shit no we're good so yeah you can see they're trying to reenact some shit I can't obviously go on the stage but above them there's the chandelier there. I'm pretty sure that must be it. You can get all the way up there and bomb the chandelier. And I'm not sure if you can actually kill the target with that. Or whether it's um, just a distraction or something. I don't know. I haven't played this in a while. But yeah. If you haven't already got across. There are so many ways to do each level. And right. here's your map. Red being a target. This is the first floor only. Exclamation marks, point of interest, um, blue being security, white civilians. And here's your second floor, he's watching up there with his security. Third floor is uh, where the, I guess, scaffolding kind of area, it's, it's not like the rest. And basement is where you can switch the gun. And that's an agency pickup, the ICA thing. Also, that, that just reminded me of another reason why I hate Absolution. The whole premise about it is a hitman, well, sorry, Agent 47, is a bit miffed off that he shot Diana. That's your first mission in Absolution. And Diana's your handler, your, the woman who gives you your missions through Hitman 2 uh, contracts and for, uh, blood money. Not sure about the first one, I actually even never played the first one. But, yeah, in, in Absolution you just shoot her in the shower and then 47 after is just like, I kind of shouldn't have done that. And that's the game. And some, ah, oh, fucking hell, I'm just, it's all coming back how much I hate Absolution. And you've got some girl you've got to take to a fucking, yeah. That right now that's popped up is essentially showing me what's happening on stage right now. And that was my ideal chance during the rehearsal where he could have shot the target for me. And that doesn't mean I've permanently missed it. It just means they've, they've got to go through the rehearsal again. Yeah, he's applauding, woo. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the way to the basement, but I will follow, or, yeah, there we go, I will follow him to the bathroom, he's going to go take a leak, and I will grot him with fiber wire, 
because 47 is a lovely guy. Don't you go in too. We don't need to make this a group event. He looks suspiciously like me too, which kind of helps, doesn't it? Jesus Christ, I didn't realize everyone went to pee at the same time. Don't you come in too. So hopefully the security guard leaves. I'm going to stand. Oh look, there's a convenient bin there for me to dump him afterwards. Great. Way to ruin everything security guard. What I was going to do is steal his uniform and dump him in here. And then I could have freely walked into the basement area. So. This could have gone better. Ah, uh, yeah, and you can save multiple yeah, times throughout each level. Just in case you screw up. Apart from on the highest difficulty, you can't save. You've got to do it with one go. Hmm. I don't really know. I'm just going to just rub against him until he gives me his clothes. That's how it works, right? Man, it didn't come across weird or anything, did it? No. Anyway. Yeah, rehearsal again. I'm trying to think of another way I can do it then, seeing how this guy had people help him to the bathroom. I mean, it's pick lock and there's the security. I can come along here, but it's not really going to help me, I don't think. I'm kind of trying to remember the layout, and what keeps coming to mind is Assassin's Creed 3's theatre. Yeah, I could... No, I'm not going to do that. I'll try to do it with a bit more stuff. I don't want this to take forever, though. I mean, I don't want it to be a 40-minute video of me actually walking around this lobby. So I don't know what I should do. Should I wait for the guy to come back from his round? So I don't know how long it'll take. Uh, what are the other alternatives? There's a paint guy, but... Okay, tell you what. Seeing how I've missed my chance at what I was actually wanting to do, I will show another level quickly. Rather than staying on this one forever. Because I don't really want to go in and just shoot again like I did on that first piss around. So. What's the death of a showman? Oh, yes, that's the... I don't know, he's kind of like a pimp at a... Abandoned amusement park? No, no, not the pimp. There is a pimp, but there's this old dude who's uh, has been. That's the tutorial level, isn't it? And Vintage Year is a winery. Flatline is the hospital. Murder of Crows. I don't remember that one. Till Death Do Us Part is the wedding. That is a good one. Dance with the Devil is also a really good one. Tell you what. I don't really remember this level much, so we'll do Till Death Do Us Part, and I'll just look around, and hopefully it goes right. If it doesn't go well, I'll just accept it. Hello, yeah, so kill the groom, oh, kill the groom, kill the bride's father, and ensure the bride's safety, however. So this one's a bit more complicated than the last lot. It's got quite a lot of levels, this game, though. Um, Hitman 2 has more, but this one, each level kind of varies a fair bit more because you're just uh, kind of kind of like contracts looking back on previous levels. So they, they vary quite a bit, which is good. Whereas Hitman 2, you... I remember you're kind of focused on Sicily, which is where Hitman's retired until his priest buddy goes missing. Is that a priest as well? As well as saying, I couldn't tell because it's quite pixelated. Um, yeah, and you're stuck around Saint Petersburg and Japan at some parts. You fight ninjas. Yeah, that's quite cool, right? But yeah, this one varies quite a bit, which is also another reason why it's the best. So as you can see right now, I'm in Hick County. I'm in Mississippi. That's not suspicious. He didn't care though. Apparently, that's normal. Shouldn't use doors. Here in Mississippi, doors are for losers. Jeez, this ground does not look good. 
I remember this game came out on the 360 as well, which is quite cool. If I had had a 360, I would have probably preferred it on that. Would look quite cool. There's a weird Easter egg in this one, actually. I'm pretty sure... I don't know how to do it, actually. Something to do with this wall over here. Uh, you can get everyone to swarm you, or the dancers, or something, I don't know. Is it, is it this? I don't know, I'm not gonna last. God, I've gotta stop wasting time. This has been a pointless video, really. It's just been me saying how good it is, but not actually showing it. Do I? I don't think I actually have... Yeah, let's not pull out the ballers. Um, I need to get my wedding invitation. Because, believe it or not, 47 is not really the social type. Not really invited to weddings too frequently. Can't imagine there is a thing. So, this building's really shit and burnt down. Well, this guy's just begging to be killed, isn't he? He's had a bit too much to drink. Is he actually out, though? There is also a reward for keeping a suit on the whole time. Party invitation. I'm sure if I wore my suit and had the party invitation, it would be okay. And it would be more stylish, of course. Uh, you have to pay, I think, $50,000 out of your, like, reward money if you leave your suit behind. So, not only are you trying to get silent assassin rating, Trying to do it in style and keep your suit. So, this time I'll just walk on up. And they'll let me in because I am one of them now. Minus the barcode on my head that nobody notices. I haven't got the volume on enough that I could actually tell if he'd let me in or not. Um, yeah, it's another thing like Splinter Cell. Sam Fisher's got that bright green opsat on his wrist and on his back that nobody notices but they're, they're minor really god damn it this game in chaos theory is good so there's mutton chops the priest the dudes and the ladies are quite segregated come on guys they're not going to come to you okay so is the cake in here? No, the cake is in the kitchen. Am I allowed out here? I'm kind of worried. There's... They can be a little jumpy, the guards, in the sense that you'll just walk through a door and instead of them being like, oh, you get out of there, which they do sometimes, sometimes they will just start shooting you. So this is where the actual wedding will happen. I'm pretty sure you can make it happen. What's the X for? Please tell me I can place a bomb. But that's not going to make the bride very safe. What was the X? It did come up with something, right? right let's run up, see if it... Da -da 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 -da. No. Whatever, I'm batshit crazy. It's okay. So, yeah, as you can see, this varies quite a bit from the last level. And I don't think he'll be too happy if I come too close. Let's test the water. Just walk on by. Don't worry about me. Into the bathroom 47. Cool. Um, I'm pretty sure unless you can peek through the door holes, can't you? Yeah, that's a hitman thing. Um, that's how you do it. And as you can see, just like a real keyhole, it wouldn't show you everything. I can't remember what's... This seems like right. Let's pick the lock. Hopefully there's not a guy waiting to shoot me. Cool. Alright. I am now in the closet. 47 is now out of the closet. Get out of the closet, 47.
don't know the point in this room. Yeah, as I said, I don't really remember this level too well. Whereas quite a lot of them I replayed over and over again, so I do remember. Nearly got a fright from myself then. But this one, it's probably a better one to do, seeing how I don't... Oh, shit. Did not go out there. Yeah, this is probably a better one to pick, seeing how... Well, in, all, in hindsight, I apparently knew the last one quite well, and I still managed to mess it up. There's nowhere really for me to go apart from out there, so... Whatever. Where's the us? Yep, let's just walk on past you. Let's quickly go on this one. Oh. Fuck. That is not what I wanted to do. Are we good? I'm I'm sorry well, what I wanted to do is sh shove the syringe in his neck no I don't want to put I don't want me to go in the closet I want to put him in the closet can I do that is that one of the I don't know if cupboards are one of the things you can put them in I don't really notice blood piles which I know it sounds a bit shit but it's for the better that they didn't include that okay Apparently, party is too loud outside that nobody heard that shotgun. Or maybe they did because it's still on yellow, so they may be a bit twitchy. Again, I haven't got the volume up loud enough to actually tell what the fuck's going on. I can't imagine they are, surely. Uh, it's gone down at green now. Okay, did he have any special ID or anything? He didn't, did he? I'll just check this room first. Hello, and goodbye. Pretty much a nope moment. Okay, now... I have a feeling this is where everyone's getting ready. All the official lot. I'm going a bit quiet because I'm trying to concentrate, sorry. I can't actually do both at the same time. So. Okay, we'll try and do this with a bit of bit of class. I want to open the door. Open it. Oh. <laughs> I say I'll do it with class. I changed my mind. Pretty sure that's the father. Awesome. We good? <laughs> I'm finding aiming's a bit difficult. I don't know whether that's my fault or not. Elephant rifle. Can I hide him anywhere? Because I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Shit. Has he got? Oh, it seems a bit weird that he wasn't there and they're just going ahead with it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Can't open that door. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a, a sight over the over the wedding because it's happening right now, and if I miss it, ah, this is the dance area though. So I'm holding a sniper rifle. Don't know if they're gonna care. They are rednecks and they've all got shotguns themselves, so they shouldn't really bother. So hopefully. Okay. What I'm gonna do. I was gonna syringe that guy. Now I'm gonna do that instead. Are we good? <laughs> I know I'm not doing this proper. And anyone who's actually like a proper hitman vet. Oh fuck it. We'll say how bad this is. 
Jesus is slow to aim. Alright. I missed that. Oh, fuck. Yep. Okay. Level's gone to shit. Now I will... Yeah. <laughs> so, fully upgraded ballers are pretty good. I'm going to die. Um, please take those painkillers, Hitman. Keep calling him Hitman. He's 47. Yeah, jeez, it takes a long time to reload. I should probably... I'm going to pick lock. Oh, fuck it. Fuck, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. It goes slow-mo when you fuck up and die and Hitman can have his last little moment. I guess that is as good a time as ever to stop after I showed how how rusty I am. I, I swear, I swear I used to be good. I promise that I used to be good. That is not the case anymore. I guess that didn't go too poorly. Like, I probably should have fucked up earlier, but... you go, 47 has died. So, if you haven't played a Hitman game before, there is the HD collection, which is two contracts and blood money, of which it's pretty cheap. You could pick up uh, just for the sake of blood money alone. I don't know if they're separate on the store or not. If they were separate on the store, just pick up blood money, really. The contracts is a bit meh, and 2 hasn't aged that well. But Hitman is awesome. Splinter Cell is awesome. I know I didn't play that, but Splinter Cell is awesome. And people really like Thief, but those are my two favorite stealth games. Chaos Theory and Blood Money. I will play some other PS2 game. PS1, once I, once I get that working. And I will do more nostalgia shit. For no reason at all. Thanks for watching.